Hi everyone, we are here in the Ottoman Garden at the Missouri Botanical Garden. I'm Christina and this is Cassidy. Hi. Socially distant as per usual. Um, we are going to show you around some of the spring blooms that are coming up. We spent a lot of time in the back of the garden um, showing you the Japanese garden with all those cherry trees that have really been peaking. Um, but it's been a while since we've been to the front of the garden, so we're going to spend some time there this morning and then we will meander back and see if we can get to those cherry trees another time for another shot of those beautiful peaking blooms. I'm sitting here on the throne in the Ottoman Garden, which I'm sure many of you have sat in before. Now let's take a walk around. We have some really nice seasonal displays right now. Hyacinths, which are very, very fragrant. Buttercups, tulips, daffodils. Pause for a second on these. Here we have um, another type of cherry tree. This one's called the bird cherry tree. Appropriately named, as you can hear all the birds <laughs> chattering today. Here's a really beautiful patch of the buttercups. A few more starting to come up around here. And the hyacinths are... This whole garden smells so fragrant right now. It's chilly today, a little cooler than our past couple tours have been, but the sun's out, so it feels nice and warm at the same time. There's a star magnolia on our left. Now here at the Swift Pools, you can see a really, really beautiful display of daffodils and some tulips among them too. Starting to open. walk past some more of these.
Now let's turn this way. We'll walk through the rose garden into the bulb garden. Now the roses are starting to come up and leaf out again, but they won't be blooming at their peak until June or so. They're more of a summer flower, but actually let's stop so you can see. They are starting. And most of them look a lot like this. The uh, saucer magnolias over here, um, they have dropped most of their petals at this point. Uh, there's quite a carpet of pink and white on the sidewalk uh, underneath those trees. Uh, but this is sort of past peak for this particular uh, part of the magnolia collection. Um, even though there are still some that are getting ready to bloom or um, are at peak right now. So if we see any of those, we'll point those out. So the bulb garden up here is really looking gorgeous right now. Lots of daffodils, tulips starting to come up. Another one of those magnolias. Let's go up and get a close look at these. Now this one still seems to be at peak bloom. Starting to drop some petals though. I love these daffodils with that peach color center. Here's another one. It's different kind, but split corona daffodil. So the center of the daffodil is called a corona, and in this case, it's um, split compared to here, where it's more intact. And so that's just uh, one of the different um, types of daffodils. The garden has. 500 varieties of the recognized display garden uh, for daffodils. So particularly here in the bulb garden, there's uh, quite a bit of variety to see in, in color and um, and also in um, the, the type of daffodil that, that we have. So small cupped, large cupped, There's a nice array of color. Those are double daffodils. These are double daffodils.
Why don't we walk past the yellow magnolia? Butterflies? Is that what this one is too? That's why we label everything. <laughs> But you can see most of the magnolias we've shown you so far have been those white star magnolias or a lot of times the saucer are... <laughs> smells good. This one's called yellow fever. So uh, just another yellow uh, cultivar. We get over to it, there's another one called butterflies that Christina and I were looking at her, uh, earlier this week. And here you can really see that carpet of petals that Cassidy was mentioning a moment ago. The magnolias here have really started dropping. It makes for a pretty scene. Especially if it's windy and you can see them all falling like snow. But today it's pretty still. Um, some of you have been asking how you can support the garden during this time. If you would like to, um, the best way you can do that right now would be buying a membership if you don't have one already. And we actually will not start the year of your membership until after you reopen. So if you are interested in supporting us, that would be a great way to do it and allow you to come and enjoy this beautiful place whenever we're able to reopen to you guys. So now we're passing the central axis, which is really starting to go. But it's not quite at peak yet, and we'll show you in just a second. Here on this sunnier side of the central axis, the tulips are really looking good. But on the shadier side, you'll see most of them haven't popped out yet. Here we have some more hyacinths. This one's called White Pearl. And these, again, are very, very fragrant, especially in the sun. Really brings that smell out. So here is what I mentioned a moment ago in this shady area. Also tulips. They need that sun to come up so they're a little behind. But I think any day now we're gonna hit peak for this whole axis. Here we have um, some more of the star magnolias by the south entrance to the Climatron. Lucky enough to beat the birds and the other wildlife to them. Um, 
but those th this will get really showy here in, uh, in the next few days um, when all of these blooms start to open. So here we'll get up close on the service berry blooms. You can see it's just starting to open. Here's a, here's a little small one. Oh yeah, <laughs> right there's a little side, baby it one. Like it's a little bit better, so we can look at the, take a look at that one. It'll be a little easier to reach these blooms to show you guys. Let's walk over and look at the white red buds. I mean, you can see, if you can see it right here in the frame, that little bit of sort of magenta color coming in. Those are the red buds. Starting to show up. Not quite open yet, but they're getting there. Well, let's walk past those tulips um, coming up in the Kemper Center area and see if those are any more open than the other day. I definitely see some color up ahead. Looks like these tulips are a couple days away from their peak, but they're definitely starting. Let's see if I can get up close on one without stepping on any others. Here's a nice open one. As the sun's coming out, you can really smell the mulch in the grass. It's warming up a bit, or maybe it's just because we've been walking. <laughs> coming up on our bees, I bet they'll be active today when the sun starts to hit their hives and warm them up. Oh yeah, um, so here earlier we mentioned that other yellow magnolia. We'll take you and show it to you. This one is called uh, butterflies.
and it's really yellow. This one's definitely still at its peak. I had never noticed this tree until Cassidy pointed it out a couple days ago. It's kind of tucked away up here off the path. Oh, it looks like these crab apples are starting to go. These are the, this is a ginkgo tree. These are the leaves just starting to come out. Look at that. You can see that fan shape already. I don't know how well it will show up on camera, but there's a big hawk circling up overhead. Oh yeah. Can, I don't know if you guys can see that on the phone camera, but Right there in the kind of the center of the screen, there's a big hawk circling overhead. Pretty small on the screen, but very cool. Yep, now here's the crab apples starting to bloom out. Yeah. Maybe just another day or two and they'll be at their peak. Yes, and the um, purple martin house does have birds nesting in it. I don't see any of them over there today, um, but on a previous tour we did get up close to them. And by the way, I suppose I should mention, um, if you're just now tuning into these tours, we do have all of our previous ones. You can either scroll back and find them on the Facebook page, or they're also on a playlist on YouTube under Virtual Tours. And here we are again at the cherries. These are the Yoshinos. Still at their peak. So thanks guys for tuning in again today to our tour. Um, I'll just mention one more time for anyone who's just tuning in that we are offering for those who would like to become new members that your membership will start once we reopen. So if you would like to support us, that's a great way to do that. And um, again, we will keep doing the, these tours, so stay tuned and stay healthy. 
We'll end with one more shot of the cherry trees. <laughs>